welcome, welcome to the Crochet Show with your host, Nikki. I am so excited to be here. Today we're going to talk about 10 different ways to make a heart. Valentine's Day is just around the corner, although I feel like you can use hearts so many times throughout the year. Whether it's from Mother's Day, Father's Day, um, Christmas, birthdays, Thanksgiving. I feel like there's many different ways on when to use a heart. So don't just isolate yourself for Valentine's Day. You can use hearts throughout the year for any occasion that you feel like is the right time. See, even, um, you know, baby showers or someone getting married, uh, engagement parties, etc. Many different ways. So we're going to hop right in to all the different ways uh, on how to crochet a heart. This video won't be long. I promise I'm going to go through it, the different ways and all the hearts are on my website. All the patterns are on my website so you can find them there. Okay. So what I'm going to tell you right away is that there's different types of hearts I'm about to show you. And some of them are kind of like a, let me call it an incomplete version. Okay. That means you can expand onto it. You can make different things with it uh, then there's things that you there are hearts that you can use for appliques or for keychains or for a, a bookmark or for earrings right so there's different ways in how you can use uh, hearts you can even put it on a, a card like let's say a birthday card a, a Valentine's card whatever you can put it on the outside you can add it on to gifts now so that's one thing the next thing I want you to remember is that no matter what the pattern is you can go up and down in uh, yarn weight or hook size in order to make a heart bigger or smaller without even having to touch the stitches that were used you can use uh, different stitches as well you can use all the patterns that are provided and you could just go down in stitch size you make the entire thing smaller or you go up in stitch size and you make everything bigger of course that works as well right um especially for those appliques the ones that are flat right so you can go up and down okay i'm gonna hop right into the very first one um that gives you different perspectives on a heart so here you can see different sizes of hearts so just to be right away clear off the bat this is the exact same pattern and this is referring to what i just mentioned this is a bulky yarn this is a super bulky yarn okay so you can immediately tell that this is bigger it also uses a book a bigger uh hook size so it's not just the yarn that i went up but also the hook size but it's the exact same pattern i have the pattern on my website so uh, it is pretty much triple crochets then double crochets one triple and then we go back around so uh different ways right but exact same pattern just different yarn now this one is this one with an additional row on it okay so the pattern is also going to be uh you can find it on my website as well and then this one is just slightly bigger and has another row so this is one row this is two rows this is three rows so you can tell that these ones are almost the same size but this only used one row and used a bigger hook size as well as uh, yarn size so different uh, hearts right here so that's three different hearts technically right because these two are the same so i'm going to move this up here because i want to show you another version that's also very great to use as an applique so these are great for appliques or as bookmarks if you go down in yarn size they will be obviously smaller right so you can see this is quite large for a one row this is bulky yarn so if you make it uh worsted it'll be you know roughly this size and if you make it let's say fingering it'll be this teeny tiny right so go up and down and yarn size and see how the effect turns out right now this is a great one when it comes to using a square and turning it into a heart so as you can see right here this is a solid granny square here in the center and then all i did is added a shell stitch here on the side of two of the sides it uses seven double crochets and in between here in the corner is a slip stitch and then again seven double crochets now you could also if your granny square is slightly bigger 
Well, you could use treble crochet. If your granny square is slightly smaller, you can use half double crochet. So again, different ways on how you can adjust this heart to make it work for you. And yes, this looks kind of tiny because I used worsted weighted yarn. Just to compare, this is bulky yarn. So this entire square will be, or heart, will be much bigger if you use bulky yarn or super bulky yarn, right? So all of them on my website if you want to see that okay so now the next one i want to show you is slightly different and that is also flat and that one is this one right here it is a corner to corner piece uh pretty much a square and i have not blocked it yet which is why it looks not exactly square like but it's not blocked but it used um pretty much double crochet in corner to corner and has a beautiful heart here in the center um i went through this entire tutorial right here in my membership the crochet club so the entire video tutorial for this specific square is in there but you will find the uh, graph for that as well on my website. You can do the entire thing smaller using half double crochet, which is also known as mini corner to corner. So if you do the mini version, it will likely roughly be this size. Now, what can you do with it? Well, you can use it for different things. You can make a tiny pillow out of it. Uh, you can use it as a, a coaster. Obviously, if it's smaller, you would probably use it as a coaster. Um, you can use it as a... Uh, let's see as a washcloth even maybe if you like or dishcloth depends it is a little bit holy right obviously because it's corner to corner but you could use it for that as well so that is now how many things i showed you now five different ways and they are all flat right so that is five different ways on how to crochet a heart but there's more <laughs> we're not done yet so what i'm going to show you next is a few of them that i currently do not have on hand and then i have two more that i want to show you that i do have on hand so we're going to finish it up with a bang <laughs> uh, so the very first one is a cute little heart um, that is still kind of flat and that this is this one so it is actually two pieces actually three pieces in total we have the heart itself which again is flat so you that's another way to make the heart but then i made the heart separated into two pieces like a broken heart right <laughs> and then i sewed all the way around to turn it into a pouch but you could technically just use the heart one heart itself for whatever you wish if you want to don't want to turn it into a pouch that is totally fine as well right so that is another fantastic way to make a heart and it's cute because you don't have to use it just for tissues this is why i called it just a pouch you could use it for gift cards or hiding a ring <laughs> or hiding earrings think of it as a gift box at, into as a pouch right so a gift box pouch another fantastic way which a lot of people don't think about right away when i see all these hearts in front of me right you wouldn't think about this one but it does work and that is this one okay it uses uh, this is the swirly heart hat and it uses the waistcoat stitch in order to make the little tiny hearts so the waistcoat stitch looks like a almost like a heart pretty much it looks like a little tiny v right coming together therefore looking like a heart uh, and the waistcoat stitch is also known as the crochet knit stitch which um, allows you to pretty much use you know I mean, you can make the the color changes slightly different and doesn't have the swirly effect it just depends on when you change the color in this case i changed it every you know third stitch and shifted it slightly over and as you can see it made it swirl which is oh my goodness so so cute absolutely love this one of my very first hats i designed it is still one of my favorites uh it's actually very cozy because it uses the waistcoat stitch however because of the color changes and being a waistcoat stitch uh it's not very stretchy so something to keep in mind so make it slightly bigger than you would normally make a hat just to make sure it actually fits so so now we have three more to go. This one right here is an adorable one. My very first heart I ever made. Uh, let's call it an Amy Gurumi heart if you wish. It is super adorable, super cute, and uses uh, blanket yarn as you can see. And this heart is a 3D heart. I don't have it anymore. 
but I do have the picture and I do have the pattern. So if you wanna make a cute little heart that is about this size, roughly, um, super adorable, seriously. And actually fairly easy. So what you do is you make first the little bobbles on the top and then you work your way down once you connect them and then there you have your heart. Stuff it beforehand, right? And you have a little 3D heart. But speaking of 3D hard, we can make it even cuter and make it fluffy because we also have this cutie, uh, also super adorable, uses full fur yarn and is also stuffed with polyfill, obviously slightly bigger as the one that I just showed you. Again, a free pattern available and you can see this is the thickness of it. You can, of course, stuff it a little bit more if you like, uh, but it's super cute and it's really cozy and it's like a cute little heart. And if you wish, you could even make a little pocket in the front of it any of the hearts really make a little tiny pocket in front sew it onto it and then you ha can put something in there again love letter ring earrings whatever gift card if you like super cute just make a little pocket and we're good to go right but the last one is one of my favorite ones because it comes with a little bit of an elegance to it, right? And that is this pillow right here. A uh, funny thing is that someone in my group just asked, you will have a pillow with a heart in a center. I sure do. I do. By the way, my crochet group uh, on Facebook is called Crocheting with Nikki and there is a link um, on my website, uh, in the description, wherever, you will find a link to my group. If you haven't joined yet, come join us. We're over 25,000 people there and we're having a blast. So this heart right here, obviously it's white, but you can, you know, flip flop it around however you like. I made a white to really stand out um, in front of the plaid background here. So believe it or not, this heart was made at the same time as the plaid. So which means that um, we have here the plaid all the way around, right? But you go in rows and you're making the heart at the same time. So that means the center of it is all white. And then around it, we have the different red colors, right? Obviously, you can see the border all the way around is in the shell stitch. Um, shell stitch type of stitch, really cute. By the way, the back is exactly the same, right? Just, it's a little dirty because I use it all the time. I should have washed it, my apologies. But it's a super cute heart and you can see it's a good size pillow, right? Um, and you can literally make even here a little pocket if you wish. So that is 10 different ways on how to make a heart in different sizes and different ways. And as I mentioned in the beginning, if you simply change the yarn size, the hook size, or even a stitch size, so let's say from single crochet to half double or from half double to double, or even the other way around, let's say we use triple crochet in a few of them, then you can go downwards. So you can change the, uh, the all the hearts up in different ways, especially the ones that I showed you here, right? These ones can be made even bigger or even smaller. Uh, you using the exact same pattern, just going up and down in hook size or yarn size, and you can use it for so many different things. I hope you have a beautiful day and you will find me again here at a next time next week for the next crochet show. Until then, bye.